In this video, we will go over what multiple sclerosis is, its symptoms, its timeline, and we will also look at the impact of physical therapy on multiple sclerosis. What is multiple sclerosis? It's an immune-mediated neurodegenerative disorder that results in the progressive accumulation of mental and physical symptoms. Some of the physical symptoms of multiple sclerosis include abnormalities of balance, loss of mobility, fatigue, and depressive symptoms. The timeline of MS begins with diagnosis, which is followed by drug therapy that is followed by physical therapy. And these therapies lead to an improvement in physical symptoms, which improve the quality of life. There is an overwhelming evidence for physical therapy being an effective treatment for MS. Research has suggested that physical therapy improves walking outcomes, it reduces fatigue, and improves depression. Hi, my name is Julia Del Vecchio. I work at the PACE as a registered kinesiologist and a clinical exercise physiologist. PACE is a state-of-the-art research and training center affiliated with the university's renowned Department of Kinesiology. My role here at PACE as a registered kinesiologist is to prescribe tailored exercise programs for our five um, programs at PACE, which are MS, spinal cord injury, cardiac, senior, and cancer rehabilitation. When an MS client joins PACE, we typically introduce them to aerobic and strength training exercises um, to help them keep up with their daily activities at home. Um, they might be doing exercises to help strengthen a certain muscle that they have weakness or imbalance in. Uh, but mostly it is a, a cardio and a strength training program, and then there also is a flexibility program as well. Our physiotherapist runs our gait and balance program here for some of our MS clients, uh, which is tailored to improving their uh, gait patterns, uh, working on their fine motor skills, and we do have modalities here such as the Zero-G that helps with um, ambulation, uh, different weight shifting exercises, getting them on their feet and helping them get over their fear of falling. Most of our clients with MS that come to PACE do find that this program is very beneficial for them. Um, they do have to be consistent in attending their uh, two days a week. Um, we do aerobic and strength training with them. They find that their levels of energy are better, they sleep better, uh, they're getting stronger, their walking is a lot better, um, and their overall quality of life has improved. And that's a big thing for them as well. And not just the physical part here that is improving, it's the emotional and social part. Um, PACE is all about social, it's a community, everyone is coming together. Um, it's just one big happy family. And I noticed that there are clients that come up to us and really say, Thank you for what you do because we've honestly changed their life. So I've seen that some clients at PACE um, that have MS are on uh, medication which could potentially reduce the number of new lesions in the brain and spinal cord um, or even slow down the accumulation of their disability. But as they join PACE and become a member and they do their physical activity program, um, I find that just overall it's going to enhance their quality of life and their daily living. Bruce is a kindergarten teacher who was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis many years ago. He had issues with his mobility that he was able to restore by using an assistive device that was introduced to him by the Hamilton Health Sciences. Bruce is back to work on a part-time basis and will be sharing his overall experience with the rehabilitation, primarily physical therapy, including his time at PACE. Yeah, I've seen quite a few physiotherapists since my diagnosis. Um, 
I did have an occupational therapist come to my house and just explain what I what I should do uh, for safety reasons with uh, you know, extra banisters or bars in my around my home. Um, I've also gotten uh, a, a cane uh, about nine years ago, and I was given training from a from a I think a physio, uh, occupational therapist uh, at the hospital for how to use a cane, how to walk with a cane, and since I've gotten a walker as well. Um, and they had a program uh, at McMaster called the um, Gait and Balance program that uh, I worked with a physiotherapist that uh, specifically tried to improve my walking. So. Um, we worked with a mirror. We we she did some massage and she um, coached me as I walked on a treadmill, like to uh, you know, stand up taller and lift my foot and uh, try to sync my walking so that I wasn't overreaching with my good leg and and you know kind of stumbling with my left leg and keeping keeping more balance, making it more fluid. Um, so I've worked with different physiotherapists, probably three or four since my diagnosis. And uh, I've had some massage, but not, not a lot. I'm, I'm positive that if I hadn't pursued some rehab that I would probably have less mobility. I, I would love to just sit all day and uh, relax, but I can feel how stiff and tired I get. I have I have some issues with sleeping, um, so I I feel like to keep active and to maintain a lot of my health, it's uh, been very valuable for me to either exercise at the gym at McMaster or or see a physiotherapist. It's absolutely improved the quality of my life. I mean, there's uh, social and emotional. Uh, uh, attributes to coming here to exercise and I think they um, are easy to measure. Uh, the, the, the progress of my illness seems to be fairly minimal. Like I, I haven't changed too much in the last uh, nine years and I, I don't know how much credit to give exercise but I would say uh, 80%. I'm a teacher, I have, I have pretty good benefits, but there also are limits to my benefits. So um, if I see, I recently saw a physiotherapist because I had a problem with my back, and it really took about five visits to the physiotherapist just to resolve that, that issue. And, uh, you know, I could see the budget like winding down for that. And I've I've maxed out my physiotherapy budget many times in the last 10 years. And I know I'm lucky to have those benefits because of my work. Um, the other barrier I find for, for physiotherapy for me or for any kind of rehab is just, uh, just um, kind of pursuing it. Like I, I need to make that call and book that appointment and, and kind of show up. Well, I would uh, I would encourage people to make that effort to to get some um, therapy, any kind of rehab therapy, because I I, I do believe that um, despite physical limitations, that that uh, neuroplasticity is a is a real thing, and that you you can train your body to um, kind of help you manage and uh, that that won't happen if you you don't have your own training and you don't have the skills to to know what to do and if there are professionals out there that uh, have have done all this training and have all this knowledge to share with you and help you um, improve <laughs>